Hello guys! I am just a random fangirl and welcome back to my channel! So, this time we'll be reacting to Nana, episode number 9. We almost got to the double digits which is good considering that nana has like 20 no 47 episodes i think so yeah it's good we are almost one fourth of the way i totally forgot how to say fractions in english um but yeah so um, we are still pretty early on in the story, we are still getting to know the characters, the situations, the relationships between the characters, so it's still pretty much new, we just got to know the characters and their backstories and what drives them, so now we are back in the present and not in a flashback anymore, I am... As I said before, completely excited about that. Uh, last episode, um, our two nanas uh, went around shopping, a lot of things, and Nana. I think that, I think that it would be um, less confusing if I refer to them as Nana and Hachi, which you know already is happening in the show. So I am I'm I'm just going to do that because it is kind of confusing. <laughs> Because they have the same name. So Hachi got a job in this, um, well, in this little store that they eventually managed to buy a lot of stuff from. Shoji seems to be all right, which always freaks me out. Like, why? <laughs> why is he being like this? But I guess that it's fine. I guess that it's better that I am pleasantly surprised about him and you know, do not have the need to shit on everything he does or says. So I guess that that is improvement. I am, I am just, I am still hope, I, I, I am still like very nervous about the other shoe dropping, but maybe that's just me being pessimistic. So I'll continue hoping for the best. Maybe, you know, maybe he'll continue to improve and I will have to swallow my words of hate about him. You know, you never know. Weird things happen. Um, what else? We left off with Hachi rushing over to the apartment with food and she found out Nana sleeping on the floor listening to the CD she just bought um, about Trap Nest, I think the band is called. And, you know, Ren is in it. So, you know, a lot of... <laughs> A lot of drama, a lot of angst. I keep hoping and dreading at the same time the moment for when finally Nana and Ren are going to reconnect again. I keep wondering how it's going to happen um, and what is going to happen when that happens. I am just, uh, I am just really interested in that storyline. I also want to see what Nana plans to do next about her band and things like that. Jasu already left for home because he had to, you know, keep going because he's a lawyer, so he's a little bit busy. I hope that he's a recurring character because I really liked him. I really like his more mature aura and his calm personality, so I hope that we get to see him soon. I think that that's pretty much everything of relevance that happened, so I am just looking forward to see the two nanas continue developing the relationship because their interactions are just really, really cute. And yeah, all of the characters, how their lives are playing out. I am just deeply invested in these characters already. Both nanas are just, are, are very different persons, but I think that they complement each other very well. And I'm just, I am just like really invested in both of their lives. I just want what's best for them both. Uh, they need to you know, learn different lessons, they need to, like, their their character arcs are really different, but I think that that is great, because a 
as I said, they, they really complement each other very, very well. So I am just excited to be starting this new episode. I hope that Shoji doesn't get me mad again because I am just starting to like him. So, you know, I was pretty sure that last episode I was going to dislike him again because that was like what usually happened, but I was pleasantly surprised. So let's hope that that keeps going and let's let's just see where the story is going to take us next. So if you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be a highlighted reaction. But if you want to catch the full length, uncut, unedited reactions, I am going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out. We are a bunch of episodes ahead in there as well. And I think that's it, so without further ado, let's just jump into this reaction, shall we? Uh, her style is always on point. I just I just really love her style Look at her. She's gorgeous Still feeling a little bit down melancholic <laughs> Baby <laughs> I guess that that's bad You're late Hachiko <laughs> なんだ私なんてお子さんなくて何年だよ。だって仕事を。まだ早いだろ。別には10時頃行きゃいいんだろ。What <笑> Well, she's a doggy. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted to do that. I see that being done in anime so much. This is like so beautiful. Oh. It's great to have roommates like this. You have responsibilities, babe. I also want to know what what what's her plan? What's her plan? Hmm. You know what? That's true. なんかそんな甘いもんかな。あ、友達と。はい。じゃあ行ってきます。She's別にいいのよ。私はあんたが真面目に働いてくれさえすれば、たとえ動機が不純だろうと。いや、イツアズグッドアスリサナスワタバー。かけるようなことすんじゃないよ。昨日もやっぱらってなんかぐちぐち言
putting any effort and I think that it's quite the opposite I think that she is putting a lot of effort and that she even could be in a codependent relationship if it weren't for Shoji making like boundaries in that regard because Nana is really I don't know enthusiastic with her appreciation and just wanting to move things like a lot so I think that Nana is putting the effort I just like I don't know when they say stuff like that it kind of rubs me the wrong way because yeah Nana needs to grow up she needs to be better and a lot of stuff and even if she's putting effort trying to keep her relationship with Shoji as best as she can there are a lot of areas where she can improve and I think that that is true for a lot of relationships so I don't hold it against her plus we have to consider that Nana is well she still has a lot of baggage and a lot of trauma because of her other relationship which really scarred her at a young, young age. So, like, I don't think that she's not putting the effort. I think that she is. Maybe not in the best ways all of the time. Like I said, she needs, she, she, she has a lot to learn about healthy relationships. But I think that that is true for a lot of people. I think that she has the disposition to learn. So, yeah, I think that Nana has good intentions. It's just that as you know many people she's not always in the right so i think that we should give her <laughs> a little bit more of credit about how much effort she is putting into this relationship i am really on the fence about shoji because they keep telling us that he really loves anana and she has feelings for her and he wants to marry her and i I think I guess that I believe so I don't know the guy as much as I want to know him but what I'm worried about is if he wants to marry Nana and be with her because of Nana because of who she is or if he is kind of trying to make Nana into this vision of the partner that he wants her to be I am kind of worried about that because, I, I like I said, I think that three episodes ago or something like that, I never, I, I don't get the, I don't know, I don't get the feeling that Shoji really likes her because of who she is half of the time the other half of the time i think that he really enjoys her company but i don't know that's why i'm 50 50 i am on the fence i've seen him dislike her for who she is and not be patient with her and even though i i, I have discussed that i kind of understand where he's coming from sometimes um i don't think that he has handled the situation very well but i don't know uh if you had asked me three episodes ago, I would say like, no, I don't think that he even likes Nana. And I think that that is more a problem of, you know, society and it's a real problem about men not really liking women. Just like in, you know, the status that, the status that it provides having a girlfriend or just the idea of having a girlfriend, they don't necessarily even like the person that they are dating and that is a broader topic. But let's just keep it simple and say that I'm not really sure if he likes Nana that much as a person I'm not saying about feelings because it's it's tricky it's a tricky subject and I think that he is making an effort but I think that relationships take effort they do so I do agree that Nana should try to make the best she can without losing herself in the process for her to make a good relationship with Shoji. I think that she should try. That's what you should do in relationships. Um, add sweetness to each other. As Joke could say. Um, so I do think that she has a point. I agree with that. But I also want to make it clear that I feel like the responsibility is not 
all on Nana. I think that it should be a 50-50. Yeah, Nana should cherish the relationship. She should uh, try her best, again, without losing herself in the process, uh, to make the relationship work and to make her partner feel appreciated and everything. But it also applies to Shoji as much as it does to Nana. I do think that they are quite young, so they have a lot to learn. I, like, yeah, uh, Jun and Kyosuke seem to be more mature in that aspect. Their relationship developed quicker <laughs> than the other relationship because I think they are more mature. But I do think at the same time that they are more partial towards Shoji than they are for Nana. And I get it, Nana has made some bad decisions. I don't think that all of them were her fault because again, she was super young when she made a lot of the decisions. So, you know, it's kind of a gray area. I think that she has a lot to learn, but I don't think that they give her enough credit for all the things that she's trying to do. And it just pains me that whenever someone says something like that, it brings Nana down because she always feels like her she's not doing enough. Like she has the, to be the one to grow up, suck it up and try again, try harder, try best. And I think that it should be a 50-50 effort for the relationship to work. So yeah, I don't know. I have a lot of feelings about it. <laughs> how they how everyone treats her relationship with shoji because i don't think that i don't know like again i am i feel like jun and kyosuke are generally partial towards shoji maybe i have the wrong idea i don't know that's what i feel like and i am partial towards nana because i really see a lot of myself in her i when I was younger, because I am still young, but when I was younger, <laughs> I made a lot of the same stupid mistakes that she did. Not the same, not, 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 not the same, but I see a lot of the decisions that I made in that point in my life. The same way that Nana feels, and, and I don't know, I just feel really, really close to Nana in that way. And I'm not saying that she cannot be wrong and that she can do no harm. No, I'm not saying that. Because, uh, yeah, her decision making has not been the best. But I don't think that she's the kind of person that wants to cause harm with her actions. And again, she is young. She has a lot to learn. So, okay, to summarize, yeah, I agree with what June was saying. I agree with that, but I think that it should be an effort on both parts, not only on Nana's side, also on Shoji's part. And I am not saying that he hasn't been doing an effort, I think that he has. I've seen the improvement in the way that he has treated Nana. I think that he is not as bad as I thought he was. Uh... But I think that ultimately it should be an effort on both parts because that's how healthy relationships work. And I just really want Nana to be in a healthy relationship and to be happy and to thrive. Um, because yeah, her story with Shoji, it's... Well, it's a tricky one. It has a lot of parts, it has a lot of things happening in the past and then now but yeah, so, summary, I agree with her, I agree with what she was saying, but it should be an effort on both parts of the relationship. That's it, I rest my case. <laughs> hmm. but, uh, <laughs> well, she's trying. <laughs> あ、照れることないって。あ、そうしたい。仕事なんだし、彼氏の一人やったり。あ、ボーイフレンドだよ。優しくするからさ。He seems like a nice boss. 
You're allowed to have male friends. I love her shoes. Ooh. Well, everyone has them. So. Like, you're allowed to have crushes. That is something that you are, like, you can't control. You just don't act on them and that's it. It's more complicated than that. Actually, you're doing pretty well. Maybe start defining that. No, you're not. No, everyone... You know, it's just human nature. Whenever you get something that you want, you start wanting something else. Makes sense. <laughs> this woman, oh god. I have the biggest crush on Nana. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I think vocalist is... Oh my god, Nana. You are the biggest crush. <laughs> I really love their relationship. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, who couldn't be Nana's fan? Look at her! She is a masterpiece, just eating there. シールじゃないの。ああ。やっぱり、うわ、揺れずに掘るなんてすっごく痛いんでしょ。すっごく私なんかピアスあげるの最高かったのに。痛いくらいの方がやりがいあっていいじゃん。そうかな。なんかこう
ちょうがねえよもう。ノバ本気だ。いや。this is cool, right? I could be This is literally the opening song! Oh my god! They are so good! They are so good! I mean, I understand you, babe. That woman is oh god. I like that. I think that this one is my favorite episode so far. So I think that I said it before about how much I love that Nana, well, Hachi is narrating for us the audience each episode the introductions and the outros of every episode because it feels like she is i feel like she's telling this story the story about how she came to tokyo met a girl named nana and start being roommates with her about her story with shoji it feels like she is you know coming basically from the future to tell us this story right and i love it because it makes me wonder a lot about what's going to happen in the future for her to be narrating this because i feel like there has to be a reason because every narration feels perfect in the way that it's so melancholic i don't know why it's just something the way that she is telling things, the way that she is telling us this story, her story with Nana, I feel like it's so... There, there is an element. There is an element that I cannot grasp completely right now, but that is so sad. And it makes me wonder what's going to happen in the future with the two of them because of the narration i want to know if it's just it, you know maybe 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 it doesn't have to mean anything sad happens in the future but it's just this element this thing that you're not quite sure about that i really really love it's not a spoilery narration like the one we have in a series of unfortunate events right that it's almost spoilery in nature and i also love that narrator i really do but this is a different kind of narrator it's a narrator that we don't really have enough proofs enough anything to give a statement about the way that things are in the future it just by the sound of it by how she tells things has this really melancholic feeling to it and i love it i adore it i devour every introduction and outro that nana is narrating towards this throughout this show i just i just i just there's something that i just really really love about it as i said before and many times i love the relationship between the two nanas i think that it's the best of the show for now uh i just really love it because they are really different people and i love both nanas but in a different kind of way i i really feel close to hachi because 
I've been there, <laughs> you know, been there, done that kind of deal. I really understand where she's coming from and that's why I want her to improve so much. And I love Nana because she's everything I hope one day to be, right? So I think that they are so different, but they complement each other really, really well. And I am just dying to see how the relationship evolves. Hachi is already so invested in Nana. She is... I have no doubt that she would be her number one fan because you can see the devotion, the the blooming of feelings that she has towards this complete stranger since the moment one they met at the train. And that sort of connection is not something that you have every day. It's really not that easy to make friends, to make meaningful relationships. And I think that Nana, as she said in the episode, is still lacking something in her life. And in a weird way, I think that that void that she feels sometimes is being filled with happier emotions when she's with Nana. And I think that that is just wonderful in a lot of ways because, oh my god, how the relationship is going to progress. I love it. I also really like the relationship between um, Blast, it was, all of the Blast members because they seem to know each other so well. I already feel very attached to Nobu's character and Jasu's character because I just I feel like it makes sense, you know? It makes sense that they would care about Nana and Nana would care about them. I am so invested in the storyline about Nobu because I had, you know, the certainty that he wanted to follow Nana whenever she went to Tokyo because he wanted to play for her, with, with her. And that sort of feeling, it's amazing that you can evoke those feelings in someone else you know i just think that oof, it's just amazing and apparently he is really really skilled at writing music and nana is the one that writes the lyrics so i think that it complements very well so now they only need two more members for the group right the um oh what it's what is it called the drums and the the other the other one um be, bass um yeah so i am I, I think that they need two more members and you know if they are moving in that circle eventually they are going to run to 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 find fi find ren i also love that we are getting a little bit more about the tattoo because i had not connected the dots between the tattoo and ren and oh my god, that gives it a whole other meaning, and I love that. As I said before, I am so excited and at the same time super nervous about Nana and Ren being, you know, in each other's presence again. <sighs> the whole thing about the, the lock that Ren had last episode, oh, that was that was beautiful. I love it. I am really rooting for them. So I, I know that, that life is not that easy, but I do. I love to see the dialogue that Hachi is going through between her job and managing her relationship and the expectations and the knowledge that even when she is physically where she wanted to be, not everything is going to be that easy, but I just feel like it's really important for her to have meaningful re meaningful relationships with people and to have a support system that I don't think her family is. I'm not saying that her family is evil or anything. Uh, we don't have enough information about her family except the brief thing that she told us in episode one and then in the flashbacks. But she doesn't really seem to be that close with her family. So she needs a support system. And I do think that June is her friend and everything but i think that maybe nana could be a better support system for her in that sense i don't know i just think that they understand each other they are understanding each other they are learning together the relationship and their chemistry is just amazing so i hope that nana gets to be 
a really important support system and you know like that is like the roommate dream right because you heard so many stories nightmare stories about roommates and then you had these two girls that are just and they are roommates and they are making it work so much I, I just I just love that I just really am obsessed with the relationship already we didn't get anything about Shoji um, except that he was uh, probably working late and that he's going to start school soon and that he went to Kyosuke to drink last night. I think that he was exaggerating because, you know, Nana shouldn't have to feel guilty about that. But, um, but you know, it's just managing expectations. It's communication. That's what they are lacking. That's what could really improve the relationship. If she really wants to be a better partner and he could also, you know, benefit from being a better partner for Nana as well, they should communicate. That's the basis of every relationship. Communication. That's how you solve 80% of the problems. Communication. So, but it's great that Nana is already questioning these things and wondering how she can do better, what the things that she wants in life that are not her relationship and the things that she wants and those are the really hard questions in life because i am also facing myself those questions in regular basis what do you expect from life what do you want to get and those are hard questions you are not going to have an answer right away most of the times it's easier for some people it's not as easy for other people i think that you just need to do the work and really figure it out so it's really good that nana is questioning these things and trying to be better i just again really love the relationship between the two nanas it's just chef kiss i love it i love it i love it so much i hold it dear in my heart and oh my god so yeah i think that i was right so the music in the openings and probably the endings as well is going to appear in the show as music in the show in the universe and i love that so it was the opening song the song that nana and nobu are going to be working on i love that i just love that so much because it gives another meaning for me when I am watching that, well, when I am listening to the song, it's just amazing. I love this episode. I think that it was one of my favorite episodes so far. And every episode has been amazing. So, I am becoming so obsessed with this show. Anyway, if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to leave a like or a comment. Anything you want would be highly appreciated. And if you want to know when I upload my reactions, I'm going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out. I guess that's it, so we'll be seeing each other on the next reaction. Bye!